still have the weird live energy. <laughs> this is different energy. We should have done this first. No, it should be fun energy. Okay, hi, I'm Colin, and this is my wife, Rachel, from Adventure Photo Stories. And you can follow her on Instagram. She takes dope pics. And we just got done filming making some blackberry cucumber mules. We filmed that doing an Instagram live video. So the rest of this video is gonna look a little bit different and we'll be interacting with my phone, but hopefully it'll still be fun for you to enjoy what it was like for us to be our weird selves live today. So, roll the clip. I'm gonna put this horizontal before I get going. We're live! Okay, it's nine o'clock p.m. Wednesday, June 26th. It's already past my bedtime. <laughs> Yes, yes it is. You normally go to bed at like 9.30 though. You've got like 30 minutes. Yeah, to but I don't normally put on makeup like at 8.30 at night. I'm normally washing off my makeup, but thank you for your I sacrifice. had to look pretty for y'all. Look, at there's so many people here right now. Hello, everyone. Oh, hi. Hi, Mom. <laughs> hi, Daddy. It's great. It's always great when your mom tunes in. Oh she loves God. cocktails, so it's always hey, good. Hey, Holly. She's... I hope you're getting drunk. She's a mom of one and a half. So, you know, she can't actually drink. That was cruel of me. I'm sorry, Holly. Hey, Colin's going to show you how to make a mocktail. Yeah, so this recipe is actually awesome because you don't have to add booze to have a great time. My other recipe that's really great to do that with is mojitos. You can always make a virgin mojito and it tastes just as refreshing. It's the perfect summer beverage. Just as refreshing. She likes it when the mojito makes her fall asleep in the hammock. That's her preferred situation. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So tonight's recipe in the book, they uh, had us using a glass like this. But, you know, most oftentimes you see a mule in the copper mug. So I'm going to make two tonight, and I think that we're going to do one in one of these glasses for fun, and then one in the old copper mug for fun. So what exactly are you making? This is going to be a blackberry cucumber mule. So a mule always is ginger beer and booze, usually some kind of citrus. Tonight we'll have lemon juice in there. And cucumber and blackberries just spice it up, so it should be pretty good. I know that a lot of people love mules, but I have never really gotten into them. Really? So I'm excited oh. to have you make The secret one. is delicious ginger beer. Oh. This one's really spicy. We've got the fever tree. You probably can't see that. There's glare. Anyways, it's really yummy because it's spicy, but I my favorite is always alcoholic ginger beer, but unfortunately tonight it's non-alcoholic ginger beer, so whatever. I mean, we'll put more shots in there. I like that. <laughs> Maria likes my face. You're what? Are you? My faces. Yeah, she makes faces. Yeah. Okay, hey, let's make a freaking drink, people. Hey, Meg. Uh, so, this is out of uh, one of my favorite cocktail books called The One Bottle Cocktail. And this book's awesome because every recipe, you only need one kind of alcohol. So, whether that's vodka, gin, rum, bourbon, the recipe, you won't have to buy like five different kinds of $50 aperitifs in order to make it. So,. I don't even know what an aperitif is. It's another kind of booze that usually costs a ton of money. Cool. And now I need to remember what page our recipe is on. You said, there it is. It's the one that's stained with lemon juice. And you told me not to say that. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for bringing it up. Okay. So I think the first thing we're going to do is get some fresh squeezed lemon juice going. Do I need to read this to you? Not yet. I'm going to just get some lemon juice juiced. Exciting. I've got one of these handy dandy. Do you need something to squeeze it into? Oh, he's very prepared. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> You're here to fill dead space because when I'm trying to think about what I'm doing. These sounds. Is that like some nice ASMR, these juicing lemon sounds? Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Okay, that's messy. Also, I have to tell you, this chair is squeaky i'm not farting all right yeah right she's totally <laughs> farting over here okay I so just said she just said 
It's not Ray's first drink tonight. It is my first drink. I'm just this awkward and nervous. Also, our child threw up on us earlier, so we just, we've got nervous energy. Yeah. Okay, so the recipe says put in three ripe blackberries. I'm going to put in a couple more because when I made this recipe last night to test it out, I wanted more blackberry going on, so I had a couple more. And then I believe we had two cucumber slices. Yes. All right, she says to cut them about a quarter inch thick. So I'm going to have a It's like a half inch. Well, I like cucumber as well, so... We're gonna chuck those in there and then we muddle that, right? My, yes. Okay. <laughs> and mint. Oh, and we need 10 fresh mint leaves as well. See, this is why you're here. Except for it says in the smaller half of a cocktail shaker. How are you supposed to muddle them in the smaller half of a cocktail shaker? Well, I'm glad you asked, Rachel. Sometimes cocktail shakers don't have a lid like this. They might be like two separate cups that you shake together. So oh. there might be a tall cup and a short cup, but we have a different style. Because you cannot muddle anything in this. That'd be real weird. Yeah, they're assuming a, a fancier style of cocktail shaker. So 10 fresh mint leaves go in there. I don't know where I'm at. I like mint. It's not an exact Just put science the whole thing here. in there. I like yeah. mint too. Okay. So now we're gonna muddle. And I usually try to like macerate the heck out of that. This is going to be graphic as well. I apologize for everything yeah, that's happening. This is going to be a like noise. <laughs> you have children sleeping upstairs. Yes. Yeah. You know, if you uh, cut the cucumber into cubes as opposed to slices, it makes it easier to muddle. But yeah, I'm macerating the heck out of them because I really want all that cucumber juice to work its magic. <laughs> you just like blinking. <laughs> It's just very loud. Yeah, those were half inch slices, not quarter inch slices. You'd think that he would know better because he does a lot of woodworking. I'm not a good woodworker. But yes, he is. Okay, so now we've got. Uh, you're not going to see that. No. Okay, don't even try. Get out of here. So now what do I have do? have looked at that after. Um, now the I put the booze earlier in. Earlier events. Oh, the. What do I do next? The booze, right? Um, add vodka, lemon juice, and simple syrup and fill with ice. Okay. Shake until well chilled, about 12 seconds. Okay, how much uh, lemon juice and how much simple syrup? Two ounces vodka, three-fourths ounce fresh lemon juice. Oh, getting messy. This is why there's lemon juice on this book. Okay, three-fourths ounce lemon. Meg just called you out. She said you're using the muddler upside down. Was I? No, I wasn't. Here. No, that's upside down, bro. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> he always has been. Okay, you learn something new every day, folks. All right, so let, how much simple syrup? Uh, a half ounce. It says half one to one. one. Oh, a half ounce of one to one simple syrup. Yeah, okay. And then now we shake over ice, right? Yep. Shake until well chilled, about 12 seconds. I'm glad we made my version first. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna make two versions, one with vodka and one with bourbon. I wanna taste what this is like with bourbon. I've had blackberry and bourbon drinks before and they were great. All right, here we go. we have company over and Colin decides, oh, I'm going to make a fancy cocktail. It's always just like, just a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> he does things very aggressively. Well, you have to shake your cocktails aggressively, folks. He like, if he's cleaning the house, he's like rage cleaning. If he's making a cocktail, he's like rage making a cocktail. It says double strand. Oh, you're right. You didn't read that off to me. Come on. Okay, so I'm going to pop off the top and add my Hawthorne strainer. And then we're gonna strain through this bad this boy. This is double strain it. This is double strained. Oh. There's two strainers. I've got a Hawthorne strainer and a fine mesh strainer. So I would have thought that that meant like strain it and then strain it again. Why would I do that when I could do it all at once? Anyway. Okay, we're making a big mess here, folks. So now we're going I to said. garnish before we uh, um, add in our ginger beer. So we'll do that. A lot of mint. 
Oh, I like the mint. When you put a lot of mint at the top of a cocktail, it just makes it smell very... See, that's a quarter inch. That's not a quarter inch. That's an eighth inch. All right. So we'll do a little cucumber slice right there. And if you would have remembered to bring down the straws, this would be the perfect time to add a straw. You say then, if you would have, like I would have remembered. But I was talking about myself. Straw. I'm the one who messed that up. Okay. Are okay. you going to leave and go get me one? A straw? Mm -hmm. In just a minute. So we'll, well that's going to... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now he's just doing it over. I have to drink it. <laughs> All right, give it a taste. See if it's good. Or do you so want me to go get you a straw? To stir, are you supposed to stir it before you yeah. drink it? Yeah, I'll okay. go get you a straw. You, you fill the air, okay? Okay. So, um, yes, yeah, so when we have company over and Colin decides that he's making everybody cocktails, he's always like, let me get out the smoking gun. And it's literally an entire, like, a contraption that you put actual wood chips in and then you light them on fire and then you harness this fire inside of a glass and like this whole process takes like a half hour to make someone a drink and i'm like can i just get a can i just get a white claw like do we need to do this whole thing and then i drink it and then i'm like like this makes all the sense in the world hey all right very excited about this i just made fun of you a little bit but I redeemed it at the end by talking about how delicious these beverages actually are. Okay. Oh, yeah. I needed that. Oh, that's spicy. I told you, it's the ginger beer. That, that ginger beer is real nice and spicy. I love that one. I'm normally not a vodka girl because I just really like the gin and the tequila. But this is really good. It's very... It's not smooth. I wouldn't call it smooth. It's like... It's probably bright and citrusy and spicy. Yeah. I really like the cucumber. You wouldn't expect cucumber to be like pleasant in a drink, but it's very good. So I'm going to chop up the cucumber really small this time when I make mine, and that might Nikki. be easier to muddle. Hi, Nikki. Someone just said, how about a cooking with cannabis special? Ooh. We know people who can help with that. If somebody wants to supply and come hang out with me and do that, I've never done that before. Sounds like fun. Uh, I know that I've seen a lot of stuff that's CBD oil strictly, but then if you use the leaves, there's some cool things you can do with salads. There's a whole show on Vice on YouTube about it, and it's gotten me interested. If you're in Kalamazoo, Fido Motors Cafe does some really cool stuff. I mean, they just do basically what Colin does for alcohol and mixology in that way. They do a lot of cool things with their coffee and their beverages, and they use CBD oil in some of their stuff. You can get anything over there with CBD oil. All right. Cool. I'm going to use the right side of the muddler. Thank you, Nikki. No, that was Meg. Meg. Sorry. It's okay. You got to tell me who's... I can't see oh, this. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. All right, so I'm doing cucumber slices and the blackberries again, muddling up in the bottom. Meg says, num. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, she technically said, num. Namaste. Sure. That was a bad deal. Yeah, that wasn't that funny. <laughs> I'm married to your bestie, Meg. You know me. Oh, we know who you are. Oh, you didn't know who that was. No, I had no idea. Oh, hi, I know who you are. You change your Instagram name like every other week. No, oh, I said that for a while. Okay, well. Okay, so. Sorry. Now that I muddled again, I need to add in mint leaves. I'm remembering the recipe now. So I need to add 10 of them. Is it pretty minty? Yeah, it's definitely... Um, so I can't actually pick out any individual flavors other than the ginger spice, okay. but it's really nice because that means that like it's very well rounded. Um, what I think I like most about it is that it's almost like, and I don't know if it's because you added more blackberries, but it's almost like you took like, here we go again. It's almost like you took a smoothie and you mixed like smoothie with um ginger oh. beer and alcohol like that's how that. like homogenous the flavor is so i'm gonna use bullet rye this time and see how that goes <laughs> meg said can you do this every single day please we basically do we just don't do it live i should just start doing it live <laughs> we basically do all right so then 
I do half an ounce of lemon. So for most of half the time, of simple syrup. I request tequila based drinks because mommy likes tequila. Yeah, it's getting to be uh, that time of year when you just want to make margaritas all the time. So. Yeah. Clear clear beverages are my favorite. Like well, gin. so you could do this with gin or clear rum if you want. I feel like this would be perfect with gin. Mm. Hang on a minute. I forgot to anticipate needing to uh, put dirty things everywhere, so we're just making a big old mess. This is also my life, yes. <laughs> now I'm in. Now place. who's the now embarrassing one? Now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go oh, for the. No, <laughs> it's lie. <laughs> Yeah, you can't undo that. And I no amount of edits are going to help you out on that one. So I'm going to go for the classic uh, copper mug for this mule here. Isn't that way too much ice? We'll find out now, won't we? All right, and this time I'm going to remember to double strain. So we're going to get... Do you want a, me to hold something? Hold this for a second. Just not over the cookbook or cocktail book. Okay, so we got our... Hawthorne strainer on. Find my strainer. Look at that beautiful See, it looks color. almost like smoothie. Or like, it looks like it's been juiced. Because, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, well, we got a lot of seeds. I see why you double strain it now. Yeah, we got a lot of seeds left in the strainer. Yeah. So at the bottom of yours is probably a nice amount of... Uh, well, I've been drinking basically from the bottom because the straw goes all the way down. So, okay. but it's good. I brought more straws. To okay, here we go. Oh, I garnish, bro. <laughs> bro, do you even garnish? <laughs> I've learned some things. Got to get that cucumber wheel going. Make it extra fun and So fancy. isn't a faux pas to straight up eat your garnish? No. I mean, I wouldn't eat the mint. You can but... chew on mint leaves. I'm sure there's some kind of herbal remedy going on in there. Parenting is hard. Mm. Yeah, in case you missed the intro, our children have been vomiting. Oh, yeah, that's delicious. The bourbon's really good with it. And I really like the copper mug. I don't normally like... Okay, so do copper mugs actually make things taste different? I mean, yes, in theory. And they've done tests, and yeah, when people are in some kind of uh, controlled, isolated environment... Well, oh, Mommy doesn't do whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, uh, it's great. So in a controlled lab environment, you could probably taste some minuscule amount of difference, but... In reality, I don't think that's what it's about with the mule. I think they think that it helps it's keep... It's branding. Branding, but also it keeps the drink colder, they think. I don't know. Okay. Dang, y'all. Dang. Looks amazing. Hey, thanks. Oh, it is amazing. I hope you made one of these tonight, because then your life would be a good place. Yeah, we realized that the Democratic debate was on tonight, and we were like, well, there goes 90% of our audience. <laughs> but... All of you here are having a much better time if you're drinking as well. But maybe you stop by here to get a drink and then go watch the debate. Or maybe you're like, <sighs> he told me I couldn't swear, so I didn't technically. Or did I swear earlier? Okay, so if you made it, let me know. What do you think of it? If you're just tuning in, we just made some blackberry and cucumber mules. And don't worry, we're going to post this recipe up on YouTube. All of this will be on YouTube unedited. So you can come back and enjoy all the things unedited, you Unedited? We can't edit out any of the... <laughs> nope. Are you just eating cucumber over there? See, I'm I should, embarrassed. I should probably have some cucumber just soaking with mint and vodka. And then that'd be a nice garnish if it was like booze soaked or something. That does not sound good. Ah, it does to me. Mm. Well... Anyways, we're going to finish these drinks and enjoy cleaning up. And I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get stuck to the dishes all the time. I mean, it serves me right. Yeah. What, d you just observed him making all the things, and you see that this, like, this was all clean. I don't know if you can tell, but it is not anymore. So, no. All right, well. Colin cleans all the things. Good night, and thank you very much for uh, joining us this evening. Mm-hmm. 
and uh, let us know if we should do it again. Send me a message or something like that. And now I'm gonna figure out how I turn this off. Thanks for my drink, babe. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like. Feel free to comment and let us know if there's another cocktail that we should make live next time. And subscribe, hit that bell, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Tequila! This isn't tequila, but next time it should be.